Hello everyone and welcome back to my No Torches run of Darkest Dungeon. So in our last episode we sent out a high level squad to do a high level dungeon and that went pretty good. That's like the first time it has went that good for me for a long time since this patch was released. Uh, and also these guys actually leveled up to level 6, most of them. Only the leper didn't level up, so we only have two level 5 heroes right now. But look at these guys, they are soon level 5 as well. Um, so I'm kind of going for this rooster goals, roster goals, roster <laughs> goals to raise every single hero class to level 6. But uh, I'm not sure if I will make it all the way. Right now I'm mostly leveling my Hound Masters up and then I will most likely try to level my Arbalest and Men at Arms up as well, together with them. But today we have to bring these guys to a higher level dungeon. Because I cannot do these low level dungeons because if I Put three guys in this. I cannot choose embark, and my level three guys will not join a low level party like this. So, or a low level mission like this. So, I will have to do harder missions like these level three missions. So, if you find any of these that I like, we will go for it. For example, this one, quick draw charm. Lot of speed and crit on the first round. That might be a good one actually to get. Because if you kill someone on the first round, you will get less damage and you will get less stress. Um, so it's almost like an extra attack, really, because. Well, at the same time, you get minus free speed after the first round, so perhaps not. Anyway, let's start by sending people to, to the sanitarium. So now we can upgrade the, this medical ward. I don't really think it's that important, but nothing else I could use these things on anyway. So let's see if we can uh, lock something for Lucy here. I should really focus on the guys that I actually will use. So, quick reflexes is pretty good. Manslay is also pretty good for a leper because he needs all the accuracy he can get. But speed is always good, so let's go with that one. Lowering damage for ranged skills doesn't really matter. So let's just remove that one. Repunt, what do you have? Extra range skills. Extra damage from range skills. Let's remove the wasting sickness. And now we have to decide who we should bring with our two dog masters. I think I will bring Pont and Hotot. I think. So anyone else can get into this dungeon. Um, Max HP isn't bad. I mean, it costs so much money to use these. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but... Whatever. Yeah, Pont we are going to use. Bondeville. Hmm, Stress Heal. Let's bind the accuracy. Quirk. These other things isn't that important. Duval doesn't have any diseases. Cry doesn't have any diseases. I have checked this so many times, so it shouldn't be really. Oh! Bad humors, let's remove that. So, what else can we do? We could remove the stress for Danneville. 
isn't that bad, so it should be okay to just send him to the bar, I guess, since he only he only drinks. Well, let's send him to the bar. Yeah. So these guys seem to be have leveled up damage wise. I guess Pont have all skills he need as well as Hotot as well. Let's check. Yeah, you need to be level 5 to get the latest upgrades. Nothing really interesting here. Alright. Time to embark. So I will do this mission, I think. Because of the quick draw charm, it's not really that important. But this one is a long one and this one as well, so I don't feel we're doing a long one with level 2 heroes. So these guys will be in the middle. We will have Hotot in the back and Pont in the front. Pont in the front. So let's unequip all trinkets. Super rarity. And she will have this Ar Arbalest Pandana. That will reduce her healing skills, but will increase her damage when she's in the back and increase the chance for debuffs. So that's pretty good. So what else do she need? I think she will need some accuracy. The moon ring is always good. Or always, it's always good if the torch level is low, so I think that's okay. Then one of these guys should have this legendary or very rare item for Houndmasters. So that would be a Mani Maminot because he seems to be in much better fighting shape than all these negative quirks of <laughs> Dive Bioglin. So yeah. But then one moon ring for you and you should also have a moon ring I think you might need to have some kind of stress resistance gear I think because many of these gives him a debuff or penalty to stress resistance and I think we have a couple of books somewhere around here that's pretty good like this one, yeah. 20% stress resist is really good. Then we have our Crusader and he will have to do damage in this group. I don't really believe in my Houndmasters just yet. Legendary Bracer. That will though decrease his speed and accuracy. So you might get too low on the accuracy part. Hmm. Focus ring. I cannot stack two Berserking Charms. Actually, he could be an off healer as well. And I think there are a couple of these, yeah, like this one. Increasing his healing skills. But also increasing his... He can uh, get stressed out easily. And with these two together he has a lot of uh, penalty to stress resistance. Oh, it's so hard. Why do every single item give <laughs> negative buffs as well? Dodge. Oh, let's give him this one because it's ancestral. <laughs> I haven't used an ancestral item, so... Should be fine. So the one with the bleed buff should have Hounds Harry. I think that both of these guys should have Blackjack to start with. Target Whistle is so bad though, I think. So I will actually have Lick Wounds on both guys. Yeah. And how about her? I think these are the best skills you can have right now. She's the only one that would 
benefit from sniper's mark so rallying flare is an interesting one but increasing dodge and speed as well as removing stuns and things I'm tempted to have it just because I kind of like to try it so let's do like that so we have items, we have everything I think we need. We are going to the Warrens, I think that this guy had... No, it's a wield foam he has, so that's okay. Let's go. So food for a medium one, let's bring three teas. I used a lo lot of bandages last time I did the Warrens. Showers is always hard to side but I think this is okay. Should have brought uh, medicine though. Some medicine in instead of food perhaps. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Yeah steal their food! Best idea ever. So let's start by camping. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. So the best thing with the Soundmasters is that they have so good uh, uh, buffs when it comes to scouting and surprise. So I almost have too many good camping skills, but I will use Hound's Watch to increase the chance of surprising. And Scouting Chance sounds like a good idea since we are looking for grain sacks. But now we have low time units left so I would actually have to decide if I want to go with speed on everyone or if I would like more crit and damage on the back row it's actually quite hard to decide but this will only give us six speed total while this will give us a lot of accuracy damage and crit and crit is very important so hmm. I should have had uh, this skill man's best friend on this guy to remove 20 stress so I think I will go with um, increasing the stress resist of our melee guy since he has these items that will increase his well, give him a um, stress penalty so they should kind of counter each other out so before I snuff the torch I just have to say this game the graphics are so so good <laughs> it's incredible I, I would like to have almost like um, a poster or something just from this may indeed stalk when it's dark it's not that uh, a glint of gold this isn't as obvious how uh, good looking it is but still a pretty good looking game and the thing is that um, you get the neg negative quirk, bloodthirsty, not sure what it does really. And I said this in like one of the first videos, but I think there is kind of like one guy that had done all the graphics. Anyway, so we have to deal with these maggots with 8 HP. So we can either land some bleeds on them. That is one way to deal with them. Or can you use Hound Rush to remove the protection? And since they have 70% protection, it's really, really good to remove some of that protection. Because if you think of it, like uh, if I'm going to hit uh, this guy, well, if I hit the guy for 10 damage and he has. 50% protection he will get hit for like 5 damage okay but if he increases his protection with only 10% 
so he had 60% protection. He, instead of 5 damage, he will get hit for 4 damage. So that's actually a reduction with 25% or 20% from 5 to 4. So that's really huge. So protection gets better and better the more they have, which also means that removing protection is better and better the more protection the monsters have. So I could actually use Hound's Rush on these guys instead of Hound's Harry, but let's try the Hound's Harry because I have this bleed skill anyway. Only land on two guys though. Okay, stress attack I think. Yeah. So I could try to land a debuff. I have the debuff skill chance here, so. Makes sense. So he will have less accuracy. So now we have to decide if we should. We could try to kill one of these. It's possible to kill one with our Crusader. Oh, I don't have. Yeah, I have the AOE attack. Let's go with the AOE attack because I want to use Hound's Harry with this guy as well. A devastating blow. Right, so this guy will bleed out. He only landed one bleed on the big guy, but still. He has pretty low stun resist. But I have said that before and missed every single stun. Oh well. Times are changing. Let's go with the aim shot. Snappy shot, I should say. Okay, you are stunned. So thank you, come again, and our Crusader will do bonus damage against unholy monsters. So. And I could remove some of his protection by killing him. Killing him. Holy water. So, like I said, this scouting bonus is incredible, and Hound Swatch as well. Food stuff crates. Okay, so we are looking for these crates. It's interesting that we are going to like a dungeon to find some grain, but I take it. It would be interesting if they made an open, open world of this game. <laughs> Whoa! Damn it, we got surprised. Bad new bears. So, this guy is pretty resistant for stuns. He has some protection, so using uh, Hound's Rush is okay. And I will use a Dog Treat to increase damage. Since it is a boss fight, makes sense to use every trick we have. And I will have to move forward with my Crusader. And blind fire with the Arbalest. The problem is that this, this guy will uh, spawn new guys. I should really have that um, dog whistle now though, because this will take some time. But let's have some dog treats again. And send a dog at him. 21 crit, perfect. Let us finish the hunt. Because now he will spawn a couple of friends here. Give us a nasty blight debuff. So we need to kill these as quickly as possible. Because they will buff themselves. Using blind fire isn't a guarantee that it will hit one of these, but I think he stuns or something. Nope, it was just a stunning attack. But as you can see now, he increases his protection, damage, speed, accuracy, crit, so he will do a lot of damage the next turn. So we could try to use AoE, but I think it's better that we are focusing him down. I wonder if his dodge is high because. No, I don't have any hit chance on my Crusader. That's why it's quite low hit chance. Destroyed. That's a good way to do it. Should almost have used Holy Lance to move forward. 
because I don't really like to have my uh, what's it called my arbalest in front but as long as you can use her blind fire it's okay it's almost down what's that oh now she moved to the back perfect and it didn't even spawn anyone so let's just use sniper fire. Should be dead soon. I could try to heal myself, but I think that's a bad idea. Let's just finish it. Perhaps the turning point. But that's a really good feature with what's this? Increasing the scouting chance. Really nice item. Will increase our stress a little bit, but I'm kind of fine with that. Let's eat some food because you guys will take a lot of damage, and I will actually. I should give someone a healing skill, but I have this thing that will reduce the healing skills. So I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I'm wondering if scouting chance should be used on the one that used this scouting bonus buff or if we can use it on anyone. Because we could give it to her. Because we have no fights right now. I will forget to change it before fighting though. Just so you know. Yeah, so I'm full. She will loot this. I cannot really do anything about that. No disease, please. Thank you. So, an empty room. We have. Oh, look at this scouting. Perfect. We have a lot of items though, so I have to check this room. Well, this corridor, one square. Nope, nothing there. And I should check this corridor. This might be some loot at least. Nope. And I should just back up and go around like this. I think that's the most effective way. Eat some food. We we'll have a trap here. So, 60% chance with traps. Mm. This guy doesn't really need the stress resistance any longer from this book. Because he's at zero stress from or some kind of strange. I'm not sure how that whoops. But he failed to disarm that. Actually, he moved into it. That's my bad. So now I have to remove this. Like so. And do some fighting. Alright. So we will get some stress and we will take damage and we will take a lot of nasty things and stuns as well. I don't like this swine tour. So how should we deal with this? We could try to stack some bleeds. It's not a bad idea. So he missed one in the back, well, he resisted the bleed. So now you have to decide if you should try to snipe the one in the back. Or use blind fire. Let's try to snipe the one in the back. Only 11 damage. Hmm. That's almost the lowest the roll I could get. Okay, we got stunned. It's not good. Not good at all. So what can we do? We could try to stun one of these guys. It's a 50% chance almost on the big guy. Almost a guarantee on the one in the front, so... The Crusader will not do a lot of damage anyways, so try to stun him. Okay, he 
will do a retreat so he move backwards. But now he will be in danger because he will do a nasty charge most likely. Do some more bleeds attack I think. Okay, this guy will bleed out the next turn. First he will give us a lot of stress. So... I should focus on the one in the front. But yeah, the Swinator will do a lot of damage if we get the chance. I could try to land a debuff. It's a bit, a bit of a waste of damage. It's not a guarantee to land a debuff either, but it's quite high. Yeah, it should land. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. So you do less damage, well, less crit chance and less accuracy. Let's use a Hound Harry on the one in front. The fiend falls. I kinda need blossoms. to lick my wounds if possible, but this guy will do a lot of damage, so I will need to kill him quick. Yeah, look at that damage. Scary stuff. Okay. Stunning will not help. Stacking bleeds might help, but let's remove his protection instead. Well, let's use this guy to land a bleed. Because he had the uh, item for bleeds, so... Because uh, this will... Um, Melody guy can... Use the hound rush instead. To remove some protection. Even if I would like to use Lick Wounds, I don't think I will get this lucky with his charge again, so... There's no way to clear this. I'm not sure if he does more damage when he charges from further back or not. Where is the crits? Where is the crits? Could try to stun him. 50% chance. What's the speed? 2 speed. Now the guys have higher speed, so should be able to kill him. I hope. Okay, I need 4 more damage. Yeah, he should bleed out now. Perfect. Alone Went a little bit better than I expected, actually. Uh, it took a lot of bleed, well, stress damage in the beginning, though. But because we managed to dodge that attack, we survived pretty good. Okay, we didn't, we couldn't use a shovel on this chest. Strange. Packs laden with loot. It's kind of worthless loot. Supplies. This might be some food, though. Yeah. So let's move, remove the portraits. Check the trap with this guy. We're not. This time I didn't step in it at least, but didn't really evil intent. really help that much. Actually, getting quite high on the stress. So I should start using this book. Could even change this around so this guy in the back will have that. Alright. I would like to equip the scouting uh, map, but I will have to wait to after this fight to do that. And I have to save this food if I get to uh, all these eating. Eating questions. Do you like to eat or not? And I like to eat. Eating is one of my favorite pastimes. So, AoE attack. Yeah. AoE attack. Only one got a debuff. And they haven't that high debuff resistance, so they went pretty lucky. The bleed resistance isn't that bad either. Hmm. Let's use Hound Rush on this Corpse Eater and then use Hound's Harry. We 
my other guy that has the increased chance. Mm, let's stun the one in front. Oops, that wasn't the stun. Damn it! I was used to having them uh, the other way around. Oh, well, time for an AOE attack. We can pray, yeah. So he will be marked and do a lot less damage. Should I stun him? No. Whack away. So I think her. She can actually remove this marked thingy. Damn it, blight. I don't have bandages. Hmm. Well, he only has 12 HP left. I will try to kill him with someone else. But she can actually clear Mart from this guy if she likes to. I see no reason to. But, but when they are this low on HP, I'm actually thinking about giving her the bandage skill instead. Might even give him the inspiring cry for the time being. And now she will actually have to go around with this map. So we might get some. Hmm. So we might get some uh, something explored. Don't loot this, please. Might be food here. But we might also get deceased. Mm, let's try it. Nope. I felt so lucky. Never lucky. Get me some scouting information, please. Nope. Food crate? Nope. Ah, let's loot this as well. Look at that. I got some food and a lot of money, so I'm happy. Happy camper. I can actually eat two two food now and hopefully we get some scouting yeah this map is really good I wonder if you use this release the hound this map and then you have a grave robber with uh, another scouting item if you get 100% scouting chance now she doesn't really need that more anymore though so let's check this item first to the north Oops. That wasn't really my intention, but okay. No loot. Okay. Might be in this corridor. Nope. So we have to have medicine here. Which I don't. Found this arm trap. Making progress. So, how about my HP? I could use some more food. I shouldn't have to eat twice in this small area. So, let's eat some with these guys. Okay, it's full. Well, screw it then. This group was kind of all rounded. Could try to stun this guy. Stunning, well, suppress, stress guy. Yeah, I think that's the best choice. It's 90% chance to land. And I like the sound. The thud. Whoa. Good, good that I have uh, lick wounds and off healing abilities now. Alright, so let's start the bleed attacks. I should do some decent damage as well for an AOE attack that hits every single unit. So it's not too bad. So let's use her AOE as well. Reducing the chance to hit. So, stunning blow or just could try to kill this guy in the front. 
Only need nine damage, so yeah. Easy kill. Yeah, hit my Crusader with full HP, that's okay. Right. So Hounds Harry, I think that's a good idea. I could stun someone again. Or lick my wounds, but I will use Hounds Harry. Stacking the bleeds up a little bit more. So yeah, if I land an AoE from her again, all these guys will die, <laughs> I think so. Could try to heal and stress heal this guy. I mean that's really good removing stress and healing. And he dodged. We'll have to remove this um, torch stun though. So yeah, this guy will bleed out, this guy will not bleed out, and this guy will bleed out. So the only one that will be alive for the next round is Swine Marcher, so let's kill him. Then we could use some bandaging. So if we have a chance we should heal him a little bit more. This guy will bleed out anyway, so... This guy can actually heal some, <laughs> after all. Hmm, should we go with another heal? I'm not sure. Ah, let's just... Oh, I'm tempted to use a heal. Feels so cheap, but whatever. I did it. I played cheap. As victories mount, so too will resistance. It's not a torch. Okay, we have an item, 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 item. So, in order to be sure, I should go around like this. But it's most likely in this room. It wouldn't be too much backtracking. Oh well, let's go around. Why not? And don't loot this, please. Thank you. Food crate, perhaps? Nope. Don't need to loot this either. I took the scenic route to this room. <laughs> That's Pretty useless. Uh, we will, can remove the holy water, I guess. Or the cleansing eye patch. Uh, let's remove that. So, who feels lucky? We actually made it this time. So, a fight. Let's eat some food. Not much else we can do. There might not actually be a fight in the last room because sometimes sometimes it's just that Whoa, everyone dodged. Sometimes it's just that quest item in the rooms. So what can we do? I think a stunning blow wouldn't be bad on this guy in the front. Because I don't like him, if he stuns my guys, I will lose a lot of damage. So it's better to stun him before he gets a chance to stun us, I think. This debuff never lands. So strange. I think I have given her the debuff skill item. Vigorous! Perfect! Let's use an AOE lead. Look at him, removing the stress on everyone. If this continues, I might actually be able to use him or both of my Hound Masters in the next episode as well. She will bleed out, this guy will not bleed out, so let's try to snipe him. 
Everything looks good. So we can just lick our wounds. Quit heal. Things are really going going great now. This expedition at least a lot of loot as well. Success. Uh, let's throw away the bandages and get the uh, money instead. This debuff charm isn't really interesting. Oh, let's check if this is the quest item. Nope. So it will be in the end of this map. Nothing new. Looks like looks like an easy fight, especially if they miss. We can just use blind fire, Obliterated. increasing the speed if there will be a next turn. They are missing everything. Who to hit? Hit the one in the back, so I could say they can deal with the guy in the front. Since he does extra damage against an unholy, so easy kill for him. Yeah, so the blind fire Remind wasn't that useful. Is a slow and so I need busts more than crests. So yeah. Let's get to the last room. We can have a little bit of a feast here outside. And I can... what's this? Bola? Knock people back? It's actually a lot of damage as well. And an AoE, so... I will actually equip that one. That might be interesting when you have the corpses as well. Because you, you will actually be able to... Knock melee guys back behind the corpses with this Bola. And then snipe them with your sniper shot. But I will use a suppressing fire. Try to land a debuff. Nope. They are just quitting every single attack. Why not? She got marked. Yeah, if he gets a bleed again, he is kind of screwed. We need to start killing people. Let's try the bleed attack. Now he's at death's door. This is not good. He could use his self heal. I think it's the best way to do this because it's the most powerful heal I have. Well, I co could off heal with my crusade, I want the crusader's damage. What? They are dodging and I'm uh, missing every single shot. So a bowler will actually kill the one in front if it hits, so I will actually try that. But they resist the moving thingy. Okay, self heal again. The AI is pretty strange. I mean, if the AI always focused on one target, you would get so pwned. But they always spread the damage around a lot. Vomiting on the guy with uh, the vert vigorous thing, but he got a disease. So, yeah. Even if. I was going to bring these to the next next uh, dungeon, but that is not going to happen. They have so many debuffs and things now. Debuffs and high stress. Let's try to kill these with Hound Sari. Yeah, he will bleed out, so we are safe. We could just try sniper fire for some extra crits. Nope. These nightmarish creatures right. can be spelled. They can be beaten. So remove the crests, sure. Still need to have room for the food though, so I'm 
Remove the cleansing eye patch. Like so. Return to Hamlet. This became a pretty long episode, actually. I'm not sure why. The town may eat, and the swine will not. I guess the fights are tougher now, so it takes more time. We didn't get that much money, but that's because we have to run around with all these uh, grain sacks. Right. So, nocturnal, that's not bad. Lower speed with high torch, doesn't really matter. Extra food consumed, that's not really that bad either. Fragile is, should be removed though. So yeah, both our hand masters are level 3 now at least, so perhaps they will not get as stressed out from these level 3 dungeons. Our estate was the envy of this land. But yeah, thanks you guys for watching this episode of my No Tortoise Run on Darkest Dungeon, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.